Hello once again and this is the second part of the Coolink Satellite Micro ATX PC case. Right, so I've put the computer all together now and here we are. So what we have here is a Micro ATX motherboard and as you can see it fits in quite nicely if you can see that. Take my word for it, it does. Um, so there's the other side, if you can see that. Let's have a look inside, yep, and power supply is here, as you can see there's an additional wire and that plugs, that goes round to the back there, and make sure you switch on before you put your case on, because once you put your case on, you can't get to that. Um, yeah, something I have to tell you about this, this comes off, obviously you can put your, um, hard drives or your SSDs, whatever. There is a, a, a problem. Well, not so much of a problem because I've got extra screws. It doesn't come with enough um, SSD screws. You can just directly um, screw it to the, this um, piece of metal here. Um, with the hard drives, it's okay because you get the special screws and the rubber grommets. But if you want to um, attach it directly to the... Um, like I've done here, it doesn't come with enough of the SSD screws. So bear that in mind if you're thinking about doing that. Um, I don't know, there's quite a lot of space, you know, because I haven't got much in here. I ain't even got um, an additional graphics card, you know, because um, it's on, I've got HDMI here. It's not really a gaming PC, but, you know, it does the job. Um, here I've got an additional... Um, USB 3.0. The reason why I've got that is to accommodate the, um, the USB 3.0 3.0 header up here. The motherboard doesn't have it. Doesn't have no header at all for USB 3.0. Um, so yeah. So what I thought was weird that the 3.0 and the 2.0 are connected together, but that's not a problem here because that's gone into there nicely into the 2.0 header and the 3.0 headers up there so so I don't know really what I don't know what would happen if you had a motherboard that the 2.0 is over there and the 3.0 is somewhere else on the motherboard so luckily these are quite close because this ain't got much of a wire here so you probably would have to get extended wire otherwise that's a little bit of a problem but you might be lucky because ATX, um, micro ATX and mini ITX balls are pretty small anyway, so it might it might work out. Yeah, but it was nice to put together. It wasn't no problems at all. Um, the only problem was with the top screws, but I've, I've got loads of screws anyway, so do bear that in mind. Um, it all fits in nicely. The hard drives, they're secure. Um, Got the assator here. Yep, they're just under. That's good. Yeah, so well pleased. Well pleased with it. So the fan at the back. Yeah, all good. So next step, I'm going to put it all together and I'm going to switch it on. So here it is, um, sitting in its new home. Um, just by the stereo, actually. Looks pretty good. Um, there's the CD-ROM or the DVD-ROM, whatever. Sitting down there, as I said, as I said before, there's no you can't accommodate the case can't accommodate um, five and a quarter or any sorts of bays, so it has to be an external drive. But that's no problem. So let's switch it on. So we get um, a blue power light. It's rather quiet this case. That's what I like about it. Rather quiet is the hard drive activity light, which is red. It's pretty good. I like it. Well pleased with it. Um, if you're thinking about um, um, a small build, you know, I mean you can get powerful ITX cases, but you might have a job getting a big graphics card in it. Um, but if you want to do a, a small build, this is a good case. I quite like it. I really do like it. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. And goodbye.